Lumion Legacy PvP. Some teams are good, while other teams are, you know, really bad. In this series, I will make a team with some of the worst Lumions in the entire game, and will try to find a way to steal wins from the Battle Coliseum. Welcome to the Meme Team. Hello everyone, and today we're back into another episode of the Lumion Legacy Meme Team series. We are in episode 18, and in the last episode, we tried the Rejected Lumians, and I let y'all vote on which three should return on the team, and Ice Cream won by a long shot. 60% of the vote wanted Ice Cream back on the team, so not only will Ice Cream be back on the team, Ice Cream will also spin the award wheel, which is huge for Ice Cream. I mean, Ice Cream carried last video. We have Joshua Star 77 at second place with 17%. So congratulations for the Get Glow. He remakes the team. And third but not least, it's Gary. Gary makes 11% of the polls, which is enough to remake the team. So I'm gonna I'm gonna readvise the team in a little bit, but we're gonna spin the award wheel for ice cream. Alright, here is the award wheel for ice cream, and there are a lot of things I want on it. A rally move would be huge, the free item would be nice, and honestly, I haven't got a jackpot in over 15 episodes. So, please, jackpot, 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 give me a jackpot, please, I can just pick whatever I want. It won't be a jackpot, but it will be a free item. This is huge, because I can run Clutch Plushie on ice cream. And then use the return to sender strategy. This is huge. Let's head right into the battles. Alright. So Ice Cream has the clutch plushie. But we are not using a tryout Lumion today. Because I think it would be a little bit too much. So we're going to try to build a team. And we're going to see how the meme team does. And I definitely want to bring Ice Cream today. Because it now has the clutch plushie. But for the other two Lumions I should bring, I'm not 100% sure what to bring. Out of Gary and Tree, I'm not sure which one is more useful. I think right now Tree is. I think I'm going to bring Tree because Luminami is kind of scary. And I love the poison opposing Lumions. Not to mention that my Helvantic has specialty boots, a.k.a. Dog. Which, that happened last episode. Dog evolved into a Helvantic, so that's going to be very exciting. And then the last Lumion to use for the team is going to be Joshua Star 77 because I can pivot out. And also Electric Immunity, which can really help for those Zulongs. So that's going to be the team I use for the battles today. Don't worry for Choppy and Bropay and Gary. They will be swapped in and out. We're going to be using these Lumions as we go. So don't worry. These are still part of the team. We are just going to swap them in and out as it goes. So this is the team. Meme Toad, Sack, Frank, Dog. Ice Cream, Tree, and Joshua Star 77. I actually think we have a pretty good shot at winning some battles today. It's just going to depend what teams we battle. With that out of the way, let's head right into the battles. Alright, battle number one for the mean team, and I'm excited. Alright, I'm not excited anymore. This team is absolutely horrible. How am I going to beat this team? I, why do I accept other people's battles? Because... This is what happens. I go up against a ridiculous team that I can't really deal with. I'm gonna bring you though, because there is a Deludrix, although I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the Deludrix. Don't know how I will, but we're gonna try anyway. I guess I can bring you, but even then, freaking Feral Blast the thing. <laughs> and you could hit it with its Pine Shot. Dog can be very good in this battle if I use it right though. So I am gonna bring Dog. I don't think there's anything I can live a hit from that, besides Frank, though. And I kind of want Frank. I don't think I want to bring you, but yeah, I have to do it. I'm going to lead off with you and hope you don't click Zip Zap on your Deludrix. That's going to be what I do. So, alright, Mimochi is going to get the start. Now, the question is, are you going to click Zip Zap? That's if you want to. You're going to click Zip Zap, which sucks for me, but yeah, this is going to suck. Oh no, it's just Thunderstrike. We're fine. I actually would have lived the hit anyway. Awesome. I would have actually lived the hit. But the Ludrix is gone. That's a massive threat. I can't do the return to sender strategy, but Ice Cream lived the Thunderstrike and got the KO. So that's nice. That's a great start for us already. 
Quartagon comes on in, though, and this thing's going to be very tough to beat. Especially with the ranged attack. Gosh, the ranged attack really sucks. I can't really sack sack. I kind of can't. I will go in the main tote, though. Maybe I can gradually get it down. I don't think I'm going to win this 1v1. Uh-oh. Really? It's Dart Burst. It's freaking Dart Burst. And he probably knows what this is. Yes, he does! Sneaky, huh? Sneaky. Well, what do I do? What do I do against this? Just sack my entire mean toad to this? Yeah, apparently sack my entire mean toad to this. Bruh. Like, really? This is what I need to do? I guess I have to sack ice cream. Because I don't want to sack anything else, so... I did need this for Tyronix, potentially, but I don't think it's the worst. I think I could survive. Thankfully, I got a lot of good moves on my Helvantic, so hopefully Helvantic can just outspeed it with boots, but... Or Dog? I don't think it will, though. We're gonna have to play this really well and carefully. Not to mention, yeah, you have Tyrex, too. So, yeah, Tyrex does suck as well. I think Gnarly Gash is the best play I can do. Stayed in, outsped me. But he doesn't have enough for another move, thankfully. So, the Gnarly Gash is gonna two-shot the Protagon. Could've went for Thunder Chomp, but there's no reason, though. There's no reason to do Thunder Chomp when he has a potential Tyrex that could come in. And if I get a melee if I get a melee defense draw, oh huge. That's even better unless you're boots. Or not boots, but you know what I mean. Oh god. Even better unless you're that. And my meme toad isn't dead, which is good, but can my specialty boots outspeed you? It doesn't? Are you kidding? It doesn't. <laughs> Be fair, I have no speed TPs, but still. Meme Toad at least comes back in and gets a KO. Maybe even a couple KOs. But I don't know if I can beat that Tyrex. I still have Sack. I'm just going to have to really rely on Sack here. Problem is, he knows that my Meme Toad's in a great position. He knows that it's... Yeah, I swapped into Tyrex, probably. Charonix? Alright. Yeah, th that's bad. Charonix is really bad for us. Really bad for us. Going to go into Sack. And hopefully I can just take out the Tyronics. I kind of need to take out the Tyronics. And it went for Spectral Burst and not the Light Pipe move. Which means it lives. Which means it lives. Bruh. It lives. It's going to make it really impossible to win now. I did get the flinch though. This is actually going to be a question. What goes first, Resentful or Reaper? That is something that is actually kind of I'm curious about a little. Nova Blast. So what goes first? Resentful goes first. That's huge. Resentful going first is huge. Resentful going first is huge. I'm going to go into Meme Toad because Colossal Trucks. Potentially. Our Badger. Uh, I don't think we win this. Although I don't give it a plus one at least. But... Yeah, I can't win this from here. I can't be Colosso. I can't be... Like, why Bar Badger? Why Bar Badger? Even though the smart play is Colossa Drops. Yep, I see him because he knows what I have left. And Tree surprisingly lived that. Is there anything I can do against this Bar Badger? Maybe I can bring it down, maybe? I'm just at so low on health that it's not going to matter. Another dodge. Yep, bad matchup. Horrible matchup for me. Why do I accept other people's battles? Of course, when everyone else is going to battle me, they're going to have a Tyrex Deludrix Helvantic team that I can't deal with. To be fair, the team didn't do terribly. I almost, I almost had it. If we didn't have Barbadger, there probably was a shot we could have won this. But fortunately, we fall just barely short. Let's head into battle number two. Alright, battle number two. Even worse, after saying GG to my last opponent, he says quick pounce meta kinda bad. Really? This thing, probably the biggest carrier in the series. If you call quick pounce toad bad, I'll show you how it's done. 
There's an Imperior, which that doesn't fill me with much confidence. Another Tyrex as well. Another one. Another Tyrex. I'm seeing so many Tyrexes today. Uh, Imperior, I guess I can bring you for. And then I can just RTS. Oh, and the Zulong as well. Although, Zulong isn't the worst. I have Meme Toad for it, so is it the worst? Thing is, I kind of need Frank for it. I'm predicting Tyrex Slave, but I could be screwed if I don't use Frank correctly. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, that, that beats me too. Yeah, that, that, be that beats me as well. We have Meta Toad. Yeah, that Meta Toad beats me too, so uh, that, that ain't good. That ain't really good. That's, that's not good at all, honestly. And I don't have Boom Bash to actually hit Hunger, so I have only, I have a whopping hop to Hey, that's good. At least I made a nice predict there on Pyrex. But the problem is... At least I made a nice start on Pyrex. Please just go for the Earthquake so I can do just damage to Pyrex. Yes. Now I need to live. I do live. Thank you, Frank. Can a Magma Burst one-shot you? And if it doesn't, just bring it close. Bring it in range for something else. It's in range for something else. I'm not going to argue. Rageful plushie, it's still in range for something else. I'm not going to argue. It's still in range. It's still in range. Not going to argue with that. Not going to argue. It does suck losing Frank, but I have other things. I have other things I can use on the Tyrex. Now, I just got to find something that will put me in a good matchup. And I think I know what Lumion I can go into. I want to go into Dog. Do I go into Dog or do I go into Sack? I don't want to... Uh, no. I'm going to go in uh, Mean Mochi. Yeah, I'm going to go into Ice Cream. I'm going to go for the Frost Beam. I don't think you're going to outspeed me in any way. Yeah, you don't. So, goodbye to the Tyrex. That's big. So, I got my Return to Sender user on the field, which is good. So, if he brings in something like a Zulong or a another Range Attacker... He had, he had one other one. Darn! That's the one Lumion I did not want to say. And, boy, it would have been nice to keep Frank for that, too. Would have been nice to keep Frank for that, as well. I could go into Dog, but there's kind of no reason to. I think this is where I have to use Sack, unfortunately. And it's probably not going to one-shot me. <laughs> okay, please one-shot. It's Blaze Chomp. It's super effective. Yes! That's big, actually. Get it down to no health. No health for a quick pounce, all right? No health for a quick pounce, Toad. I'll take it. Darn, that sucks. I still have my Clutch Plushy strat alive, though, so if you have the range attacker, I can use that to my advantage. So, quick bounce to take out the Hunter. Hunter's gone. Here! Look at that! Mean Toad did something! That last person! Now, who do we go into next? Zulong ain't great. I gotta save you specifically for the Zulong. Now, I do have Mean Mochi in the back. I think it's my, old, my one other real Lumion that's left is Dog. And I'm not sure how it's going to do against this team. It's going to really depend who he brings in next. I just... I need to get a good matchup. And that matchup's horrible. I don't like that matchup at all. Although I think I have something I can do. I'm going to go for a quick pounce just to chip the Imperior a little bit. Okay, I didn't do enough. That did... That did nowhere near enough. And the Dark Surge with Shade Shell. Gosh dang it. Oh my gosh, it's at 1 HP. Well, I guess that ain't gonna work. I guess I'm just gonna have to quick pounce. Start it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm going to freaking take it. Now, please, last one. Now, be a ranged attacker. Please. Be a ranged attacker. Be a ranged Be Zulong. Yes, it's Zulong. RTS. RTS. All right. That's huge. RTS. Fire Breath. It's gonna burn me, isn't it? There's the Clutch Plushie. I still got my RTS off. Just don't burn. It doesn't. RTS, I get a free attack on something. It's gonna depend what his last Lumion is. Don't be anything stupid. His Tyrex is dead. Samarine is left alive, which... Let's see what you do. You have Wave Wrecker now. Uh-oh. Still Crusher. Okay, I'm happy that that hit actually. Now, it's my boots Helvantic at his plus one outspeed. That's what it's down to. It's is it, dog. You gotta outspeed. If you don't, it's over. Wow, he's so big. I can actually see. Oh my god, please be it. Be it. Be the battle. Be the battle. Be the battle. Be the battle, please. Oh no, unless he has Tyrex still. Does he have, does he have Tyrex? 
He does it! GG! Alright, battle number three. That last battle was a huge dub for the meme team. And this is going to be another tough battle for the meme team. None of these battles are easy. These are all legit teams. So the fact that we did solid in battle one and won the last battle is huge. Like, let that sink in. That is huge for us to win that last battle against an actually pretty good team. And this is another one of those teams that are really good. We're going to have to play really smart. Yeah, I don't think Joshua Star 70... Oh, it could be for the Protagon, but I don't think it's going to work. Frank's definitely going to be good in this battle, though. Especially for Metronet, if I can get it on the Metronet. Bring you, I'm honestly going to lead off with you on the Snagoop, honestly. Yeah, that looks like a really good lead, especially on the Snagoop. Tree! A lot of weaknesses, can't use it, so... Well, let's we'll start off with Dog. Snagoop lead, Harvasek lead... That's trash. That's a trash lead. A really trash lead, actually. Gosh, that lead's horrible. And I'm gonna lose sack to... I'm gonna lose my entire sack is the problem. I can't do it. There's only one thing I can do is go to Frank. And even then, you're gonna click Earthquake. Like, yeah, Harvest Six is a bad matchup. Is there anything else on my team I could deal with this? Like, look at that damage. We'll go for a dodge. And try to stall this out. With your earthquakes. I don't think we're winning this. I don't think we're winning this battle. I don't want to lose Frank. I don't. But it looks like I might have to. That's kind of all I have to do for this. And then hope I can do something with ice cream. It's kind of nothing I can really do here. I guess I'll go for another dodge and hope I get the double. Hope for the double. I don't get the double, so darn it! So yeah, this is gonna be annoying. Honestly, I'll just be happy we can beat the stupid Harvestek, because this thing is gonna be annoying. This thing is going to be really annoying to beat. I'm gonna go in this I have to use Sack now. And I do like zero damage to it, and it's gonna parasitize all its health back too. Thing is, the Parasitize comes after the Resentful, so it's still going to take a lot of damage. So, just take it out in one hit. Please, take it out in one hit. Thank you. So, it gets back to full, but hopefully it gets it low enough for Ice Cream. That's low enough for Ice Cream. So, Ice Cream can come in and hopefully take out the Harv, because that's all. Or I could go in the Dog, but no. I don't really hit it. I don't have Primal Slash, so... Deep Breeze. So... This is the only way I can beat the Harv. Promise he could save it for later. Although, then again, his Harv's really low. Yeah, his Harv's low. So, we took- we lost two really big Lumians, which sucks. But we do eventually get rid of the Harv. The Harv did go down. He didn't completely sweep us. Metronet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What are you gonna do? Flabbergast. Please. Oh no. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It didn't do anything, even though Psycho Blast would have one shot it. Are you kidding me? Well, we'll go in the dog. <laughs> Thunder Chomp. Thunder Chomp. You still outspend me? A boot! I live though, so that's fine. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> at, at least I get an aggressive boost. But, like, that was a strat. Get an aggressive boost and hope. Let's see who you go into next. Darn. Well, she might think I'm not boots. Siege! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Siege! <laughs> He definitely outs- I actually outspent flinch once. We need one flinch. One flinch. Oh, uh, sharp edges? Are you kidding me? Sharp edges? Oh my god. Well, this last battle didn't do anything for us. It didn't do anything to help us. Maybe I two-shot you? Mean so clutch? I need a crit on the next attack if I even want to KO it. I need a crit on the next attack. It's over. 
Well, yeah, the Flabbergas Metronet when they should have Psycho Blast. Yeah, that, that went well. We're gonna try one more battle, actually, because all the battles have been really quick today. So we're gonna try one more battle, and hopefully we can win two for four. That would be huge. It's not even, it's not even thinking ability. Gosh dang it. I think this is the first time I ever did four battles in the series. And this is another very tough team. So many tough teams. There's a Zulong in a hunter again, so that, that's really just not great. Another Charonix, another Seedre. This is just horrible. Oh, and an Ikazune as well. At least there's a bunch of range attackers, so yeah, I can use RTS. How am I going to beat that Helvantic? That Helvantic isn't looking nice at all. Honestly, not at all. That Helvantic's gonna be a nightmare to be if I'm not careful. I'm gonna have to play that Helvantic really well if I even want to stand a chance against it. But I don't want to lead off at Frank because Ikazune lead is quite common. Ikazune lead is quite common and I don't want to really use it there. I don't think I can really beat Charonix neither unless I use it correctly. I think Dog is the best lead. Unfortunately, I think Dog is the best lead I can go with here. He let off at Zulong, which is not terrible. Not terrible for me. It's not terrible. I throw up point. I assume he's gonna ancient roar, because I don't think he wants to stay in. I'm gonna throw a poison actually. I actually outsped his Zulong, which I'm generally shocked about. Yeah, he ancient roared. Alright, so I can throw a poison on something else. I could have just attacked the Zulong, but the Zulong's poison, so. I won't argue. I won't argue. I poisoned something. But that's where the problems are. That's where the problems arise. That's where the problems arise. I don't necessarily want to use sack neither. I don't necessarily want to sack anything. Personally. Well. Can, can you one-shot me with Thunder Crash or Painful Fast? Can you one-shot me? Gnarly Gash, are you kidding? Well, we didn't do that much at least, but Gnarly Gash. Maybe I can outspeed you? Well, I didn't go well. Yeah, I outsped me. Although, I think okay, it, it gets a Resentful. It gets a little bit. A little bit. Alright, a little bit of Resentful. I'll take it. I'll take a little... Oh god, are you kidding? Oh god, why did I do that? That ain't good. At least I know he's not boots, so I can go into you. <laughs> this is all I have. It's not even gonna one-shot. He is gonna one-shot me. Alright, alright. And now I get aggressive. I'll get an aggressive boost now. Thank you very much. Although my... Oh, he just swapped. He saved it for later. Into the Mutagon? Why? Why the Mutagon? Why? Why the Mutagon? I don't get it. It's because it's gonna live. And I don't get the melee defense drop. Bro, I don't get the melee defense drop. Maybe I'll just... That's nowhere near enough. I have to try it, though. Please! I knew it wasn't going to be enough. Why did I trust the process? Miss! No! I, I need luck. I need a little bit of luck with these. Beam Toad can come in, though. I mean, Toad is looking good, but I haven't even KO'd a single Lumion on his side yet. Although, I think Mean Toad can clean up a bunch of them. And yeah, oh yeah, I lost my thing to the Tyronix, too. Yeah, Tyronix is going to be a nightmare if he has it. I'm going to have to play that Tyronix well. There it is, Tyronix. I'm going to have to play this thing really well. I'm going to have to sack Frank, use me Mochi. Hope for the best. I'm gonna have to sack my Frank. I'm, I'm honestly just gonna go for a Rejuvenate and just try to keep it alive. Gamma Pulse? Alright. I'm fine with that. Critical hit, of course. But Frank's gonna keep himself alive here. The Mutagon is dead. Is Zulong still alive? Another Gamma Pulse. Honestly, just stalling out his energy? Not terrible. Stalling out enough of its energy to try to get, hopefully, a Magma Burst off. He's gonna have to swap. Like, I have to say, Blind Slot Batter on a freaking Charonix? Are you kidding? Is that the move you're doing there? We'll go for Power Focus. He rests it now, actually, which I'm not gonna 
Well, that's horrible, actually. I get a power focus. But I don't have to, I'm gonna have to play this really well. I'm gonna go for dodge. Blind spat matter goes through dodge, actually. Does it? Even if it does, it doesn't do that much. There's a gamma pulse. It missed. Just, I can't have a gamma pulse crit. So I know I'm gonna rest, and then the gamma pulse is gonna crit. I have to wait. Darn, I have to wait here. And I don't have enough for Rejuvenate after. Darn, I don't have enough. But I didn't do that much, though. Dodge coming up. Yes, I got the dodge off, so that's good. Now I can go for uh, Rejuvenate, and then I can rest with this. I am a plus one. This is going to be a stall fast with Frank. Thing is, he knows he wins the matchup. That's why he's sticking this... The reason he's sticking it in his ground is because he knows he wins the matchup. He knows he wins this matchup. Although, if I go for another dodge here, that would be nice to get to get him off there. Maybe I can get him to a point where the Reaper health doesn't matter. I'm going to go for a rest now. Because he hasn't really got many hits, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to go for a Rejuvenate and not a dodge, because I feel like he's going to rest. I feel like you're going to go for the rest on this turn. So, I'm going to go for Rejuvenate. You're going to go for a rest now. No, are you kidding? I didn't get credit though, so that's good. Now you're going to go for a rest, and I'm going to go for Magma first to do a little bit of damage. I'm at plus one. You're going to go for a rest now. Yep, there's the rest. Tons of damage. Going to take it. Tons of damage. Please take it down to at least here. At least in the pink. Oh my god, it does a ton of damage. The Volcanic Crack Lola is insane. That is pretty good. I'll take it. I will take it. It's now definitely in range. He swapped! Oh my god, that's big. I actually made it swap. There's the Zulong. That is... I cannot tell you how massive that is. That is massive that I made that Charonic swap. That was massive. I actually scared out the Charonics. Scared it out with Frank. And I could still save my other Lumion for later. Oh, that sucks, though. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. It didn't, okay. It didn't burn, it didn't burn, it didn't burn, it didn't burn. Still has a Helvantic, though, in the back. Gotta be careful. Still has a Helvantic in the back. Gotta be careful with that Helvantic. Meme Toad, though, there's a ton to the zoo. Ancient Roar out into... It won't be Helvantic. It won't be Helvantic. His Zulong is low, though. His Zulong goes down in another quick pounce. His last loom is Siege Rake. Bruh. Bruh with the Siege Rakes. Well, I gotta go in the Frank, because it's kind of all I have left. That's kind of all I have left here. Hydro Slash, ow. Ton of damage. Go for dodge. Alright, the dodge comes in hot here. The Hydro Slash doesn't do that much. Now we're going to go for a Magma Burst in case it does something else. Darn, a Hydro is going to hurt. We needed to go for a Thorn Slam, and we need to hope that it doesn't have a lot of energy. Darn, this is going to be very close. This is going to be very close. Deep Phrase. I need to get Clutch Blushy up. Are you kidding? It doesn't use it? Are you kidding? It doesn't even freaking use it, because I knew it wasn't going to one-shot. Oh, come on. I can't have a break today. Oh, uh, yeah, he gets the crit. Why couldn't he crit in the last attack? Well, that ain't good. Can Mean Toad just clutch up all the way? We need Mean Toad to just clutch up all the way now. There's a KO there. So that's one. Everything's low. It just depends if that Charonix is low enough that I can two-shot it. Or hope he's out of energy. And he's not out of energy, though. Helvantic comes in, which Helvantic gets cleaned up, so goodbye, Helvantic. He should bring Zulong in first. That'd be the smart play on his part. Bring Zulong in first. Is the Zulong out? His Zulong can do damage for eight. He, he is. He's doing that. That's a smart play. Quick pounce. This is enough. We might be in business. It is enough. Now, all right, Tyronix. This is it. This is the battle right here. We need this. Come on, quick pounce. That's definitely not enough. I need a critical hit if I even want to stand a chance. Here we go. This is it. No, it's not enough. No. Uh, operation? It doesn't help. It hurts. I can't even win. No. Operation? Really? 
think it would have took me out anyway, but still. Critical hit as well! Gosh dang it! At least I won one for four. And to be fair, all the battles were tough. I mean, Tyrex was like on three of the four. Tyronix was on two of the four. Zulong was in two of the four. Z Hunters was in two of the four. Like, this is a big improvement for the main team anyway. We won a tough battle today, and we almost won that last one. Mean Toad almost clutched up. If that C Drake would have just gave me the clutch plushie on my ice cream, that would have been a totally different battle. So, but unfortunately, we do lose. But at the end of this video, I am going to give all the winning Lumians in battle number two 10 TPs. So, yep, that rule is going to be enforced in the next episode. So, I'm really excited. And the next episode is episode 19 of the series. Hope you guys enjoyed this meme team series. I will continue to do them, and I will see you all, all later. Let me just spell E-Wave first. I can't, sp I can't do anything right. Bye-bye!